Well, it's a fringe that has become legendary. Adam Kleberger's beard has been drawing as much, if not more, attention than his team's performance at the Rugby World Cup in New Zealand. But today, weeks after Team Canada played their last match at the tournament, the legend ends and Kleberger is reunited with his chin, all for a good cause. Kylie Stanton has more. A game ritual or a form of intimidation, either way, it defines a team. New Zealand has the haka, while Tonga performs this. But at the Rugby World Cup, players up against Canada fear the beard. Adam now, the iconic athlete that captured the world's attention during the tournament is getting ready to take it all off. It's a lot of hair to have on your face, so it'll be, it'll be nice to have it off. Settling into the barber's chair in front of a massive crowd at the University of Victoria, the work begins on eight months worth of growth, and not by a professional. Ladies and gentlemen, Rick Mercer! The television host filming a segment for his show started out with the Clippers, styling the mane and even trimming it up with scissors. But backup stepped in for the final touches. Shaving cream, a sharp blade, and the beard is sheared. It's really awesome being here and supportive. I think it's fantastic what he's done. Yeah, it's really cool. You might as well put it to a good use, right? Kleberger is raising funds for two charities. After his time playing in New Zealand, he's urging Canadians to support the rebuilding of Christchurch. <laughs> the city hit by an earthquake last February and what led to the World Cup Games being relocated to other areas around the country. Uh, and the other one is the Movember campaign here in Canada. Movember will also see donations, a month-long campaign where men start clean-shaven and grow a mustache to raise awareness for male cancers. After today, Kleberger is ready to take part and build on his fundraising efforts. The last time I looked, I, I thought it was around 6,000 in total. As the last strands fall to the floor, the towel comes off. The face of Canada is transformed and feeling good. Yeah, it felt nice. I, I recommend anybody to have a, a straight blade uh, razor shave. But with four years before the next Rugby World Cup, there's plenty of time to grow it back, while the other teams perfect their rituals.